Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Delena and you are watching Brown Girl Lux. If you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, turn on that notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of my uploads. Today I am sharing a luxury unboxing with you all, so if you're interested, keep on watching. <laughs> y'all I know it's been forever since I've done a sit down video obviously I've relocated and I'm just trying to get settled right now um, currently the room that I'm in is my beauty space room but I have not really done anything in here yet so don't mind the background I know it's not giving what it usually gives um, but I'm just working on it at this point so bear with me I do hope to get back to you know filming some sit down videos in April um, I know that's the month that my husband and I are planning to put in the work to really get this room kind of set to go um, so he'll officially be here with me and he's gonna help me just get everything I want in here I definitely want some type of cute book casing bookshelves something to obviously store all my luxury items on so I'm still working on that so right now we're just kind of working with the clothing rack behind me I have a mirror in here and then of course my vanity so I'm still working on all of this so definitely be patient with me but I'm coming to you all today because I needed to finally unbox with you all my newest handbag now I did show you all in a previous vlog so if you have not watched that one go ahead and check it out I showed you all my husband and I went to Balenciaga that was probably like the second week that I moved here y'all I was itching for this bag so I had to get it now I am someone that I might be excited to get the bag but I'm not gonna carry it right away I have not used this handbag yet it's obviously still in the box now you all are gonna see a little bit of an unboxing because I did film a reel for this um, portion of the video so you all will see that here and obviously the packaging and everything is super duper pretty um, Balenciaga when I was in there the guy was like oh we don't have any like boxes and all of this and I'm just like well why not <laughs> so he was like calling around and basically he was able to go ahead and get me a box because I'm just one of those people that I like to have the boxes for my handbags. Now in this space that I'm in currently, I will probably showcase my bags differently um, and they may not be in their boxes, but I still wanna have the box, you know what I mean? I just feel like if I pay for this expensive item, I should be able to have a box and it should not be an issue. So let's go ahead and talk about the bag. So again, it's from Balenciaga. It's inside of this huge bag here. And please, <laughs> please do not let the size of the bag in the box fool you, okay? Because again, that's all they had for the boxing. And of course, if the box is big, they can't give me an itty bitty bag. So don't let this fool you because baby, this is not no big bag. Y'all already know my vibe. Y'all know I'm not here for the big, big handbags. This is a small, very small bag at that, but it's perfect for me, right? So it's inside of this box here. And again, I've already taken the ribbon off of it. So let's go ahead and take that off the box. Okay. So I will say this is a bag that was on my wish list, which I'm sure you all probably have guessed that by now. Um, there was only one Balenciaga bag on my wish list. So here's my thing. I do like Balenciaga pieces. I do own a Balenciaga handbag. It's a camera bag. Never carried it, but I got it on a super good deal. So it's just something I have in my collection. Balenciaga bags to me um, are a bit more overpriced than they should be if you ask me. I don't know if it's just because I feel like the quality of their bags is just not as good as some of the other luxury fashion houses. I'm not really sure, but I just feel like some of their bags are a bit overpriced. And this bag that I purchased, I do feel it's a little bit overpriced for what it is, though I really love it and I'm super excited to have it. I just feel like the price point doesn't completely match. But forget all of that, let's go ahead and just open the box, uh, open the bag up so you can see what it is. So it's inside of here. <laughs> And when I talked about this bag, I told you all I did not know what color I wanted um, and I was just really unsure. The color that I got, it's not a color that I would have thought would have been for me um, just because I'm so anal about everything with my handbags. 
So let's just reveal it and we'll talk a little bit more. So the bag that I got, of course, is Balenciaga Hourglass Bag in white. So bringing the bag up close so you all can see the detail. This is the Croc version. This is the extra small size with the gold hardware. And y'all, I'm in love with this bag. So before we get into all the details with the bag, let me just tell you all, when I went to the Balenciaga store, I had no intention of getting a white handbag. Um, when I went into the store, I had intentions of seeing about the pink, a very bright pink color, and I'll make sure I pop it up, and also the green, so like the Kelly Green, Bottega Green. Those colors did not speak to me. And I think it's because I'm someone that doesn't really enjoy bright colors. Sometimes I'll do a bright color. So you might see something behind me orange. It's a skirt I got from Zara and I love it. And I think it's going to pair well with this bag. And I also have something white that you all will see later once I really pull the bag out. But I'm not like big on bright, bright colors. I look best in like warm pastel type of colors. So when I was just thinking about like what bag is going to work for me, what color, I like grabbed the white and was like, well, let me just see, like, is this my vibe? And y'all, I fell in love because again, any of the other colors I saw, obviously I was not getting black. Y'all know I have enough black handbags. When I saw the pink, I was just like, this isn't doing it for me. I don't know if it's my skin tone, my undertones, something about it. It just didn't give what I wanted it to. And I really thought I was sold on it. Once I got in the store and saw all my options, because they did have several options. They had baby pink, mint green, uh, the emerald green, burgundy, white, black. I mean, they had every color that I could really think that I would want to choose from. They had it available, but your girl went with white. And I am just so obsessed. It is so stinking cute. This is a tiny, tiny bag and it's not for everyone. So I just have to keep that, you know, up front with y'all. It's not going to fit everything. It's going to fit a phone, your lipstick of the night, a little sanitizer, your money, your cards. And that's really about it. I will later on down the road do like a what fits inside and give you like my first impressions of the bag after using it a little bit. But it's small. It's totally small now. You all know I've moved again to a new state, new cities. I'm in Atlanta now. Your girl is going to be out and about and I don't need big old handbags. I've never loved big handbags. So that's why this size was just perfect for me. This is going to be my, you know, going out to brunch with my bestie bag, going to dinner with the hubby bag, lunch. That's what this bag is giving for me and it's going to work perfectly for those occasions. So when I open up the uh, bag, you can see that they do have the strap inside of there. So you do get the strap. Now y'all already know. Whenever a bag comes with straps, that's really not my vibe. I'm typically wanting to carry it top handle. So I probably would never really use that strap unless I'm doing something casually. And then this is just like the Balenciaga tag and all of that stuff inside of it and again i did get this at the balenciaga store here in georgia originally i wanted the bag a little bit sooner but then i decided you know what let's get the bag in the store so i can really be a hundred percent sure about the size and y'all i'm so happy i did that had i bought this bag online and got a color i wasn't in love with I would have been so upset because now I just feel kind of stuck with it. So I'm so glad I bought this in store. Let me go ahead and pull off the receipt. So here is the receipt. So it comes in this little Balenciaga envelope. And so the price of this bag, again, I told you before, I feel like the price point is a little bit high. This bag was $2,490 with tax $2,711.61. Again. <laughs> a bit overpriced right i do think it was a little bit more than i expected it to be um i think that if i had to say i would think that this bag should be around the 2150 mark which that's the price point for the all leather version i think that seems like a better price point for this bag but nonetheless i really love this handbag i'm going to be carrying it a ton um this was just a treat to myself so this was not a gift from anybody else it was from me to me and i'm really really happy about it and i just cannot wait to start using it so let me know in the comments you know what you all thought i was gonna get did you think i was gonna get white i feel like most people would say no just because i am a little bit you know just anal about 
you know, how my bags look, making sure they don't get dirty. But I told you all a few months back or like earlier this year, I am not saving my luxury in 2022. I'm wearing my things and I'm not gonna be so, you know, stressed out or caught up in, oh, it looks dirty. Oh, I got a mark on it. Oh, I got a scratch. I'm not gonna do that because y'all know almost everything in my collection looks brand spanking new because number one, I may not have carried it that much or I've just babied it so much. So I said this year, I'm not doing that and I'm, I'm not. So that is just what it is. I love the bag. It's super duper gorgeous. Perfect little size. Like I said, perfect for going out. Love the little slip pocket in the back. Probably you can't fit. Uh, I might better fit my phone in there, but probably not with the case on it. But yeah, so let me know in the comments your thoughts on this bag let me know if you've thought about adding this to your collection i definitely will come back after i've used it a few times so maybe in a couple of months i've used it a few times give you my like thoughts let you know what fits inside but so far i'm really in love with it i'm happy to have it in my collection so yeah that's that so yeah so that's the bag now you all know I miss talking about my handbags and doing reviews and favorites and all the videos you all love. Again, right now, I just need to get acclimated to my space, get set up, get comfortable, so I can really start back bringing you all those videos because obviously I miss giving them. Hopefully you all are enjoying the vlogs. I know around Vlogmas, I felt like a lot of you all just wanted to see more of like my day-to-day -day life, see what I'm doing and things like that. So I know that incorporating the vlogs is kind of giving you all a little bit of it insight but hopefully we can slowly work our way back in April and then maybe by May be back into the full groove groove of sit down video so I hope you all enjoyed this one sorry for the wait because I've had this bag now I want to say it's been like three weeks that it's just been sitting in the closet. So hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know if you're thinking about this bag, if you're gonna get it, anything like that, let me know in the comments. I do appreciate your love and support. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your family and friends. I'll see you all in my next one.